What is going on everyone? This is going to be three short videos showing my three reasons why you should get an iPad. Alright, I'm going to try to keep each part short up to like two minutes long. Alright, so let's just get right into it with number one, productivity. Alright, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. There are several apps that look and work just like this. Sketchbook Pro is my favorite though, so that's what I'll be showing. All right, now this is one of them art design apps where you can draw and you can make you know your size bigger. And if you drag up, it gets darker. Drag down, it gets lighter. You figure out how the um, application works once you get it. Works very well. Um, you can make layers, kind of like Photoshop, which is very helpful. You can import pictures. Um, you can duplicate whatever. I do that a lot, and then turn one off and then if I get it right then delete it so I don't mess up the previous one um, then you can merge them down all the way into one or whatever it works very well since the last update they added um, text and you know font and whatever let me see what else let me clear this alright um, you can let me make it darker so you can see this you can have it copy exactly whatever you do on you know whatever side matches it turn that off alright you can make circles square a line the lines you know is one of those and the squares or whatever you know it does that freehand we'll go back to freehand alright now you got the colors you can pick out of change it of course got the color wheel which works you know however you see fit or you can go down here and tweak them you have tons of brushes. You know, I think it's like five pages. You have spray, you know, so you can spray or whatever. And, um, you know, more fine type, you know, uh, brushes. Let me see. I can pick something like a pencil. Dark, thin it up a little bit, you know. I mean, it's tons of things. You sit here and play with this. It took me like an hour to go through everything thoroughly and figure out what I really want so now I'm actually creating you know worthy things and I mean it's just a beautifully designed app you know you'll really enjoy it try it pick it up or whatever alright so that's sketchbook pro alright next we'll be taking a look at this pages now pages is a beautifully designed app by Apple that they could have gave to us for free but pages, keynotes, and numbers all work basically the same. Very well designed, and they should have made it part of the iOS. But anyway, and I'm not going over numbers because I don't do spreadsheets, but that would be part of the productivity for the others. Anyway, at the bottom, you have options to like extend it and share or whatever, and more copy type stuff or whatever. All right, let's just jump into a new one. Now, you can start with a blank slate or classic letter, formal letters, it doesn't matter, resumes, poster, term papers, you know, recipes and all this. I'll give you an example. Okay, party invites. Let's say someone's birthday coming up. Um, Let's use my ex, Jessica Alba. Okay, let's say her birthday's coming up. You can, you know, put the picture wherever you want it and then, you know... Type on the, anywhere you see text, just touch it and start entering your own information. Alright, you can add more photos. Um, you can change like, wait, there you go. You can change like the heading, title, all that good stuff or whatever, color, everything. Alright, list, more stuff, you know, just all options you would need for something like this. And you can, um, you know have it bold and here's the subtitles again you can change the position and that's basically it. just a quick little review and if you matter of fact I'll show you one more um, flyer I like flyer say you have a flyer for a yard sale put your address there Maybe pictures of the house, neighborhood, or some of the merchandise you have, you know. And as you can see, this is very nicely done, and it's 
easy. You know, your information, a couple of pictures, more information, whatever, and then contact information. Done. So you can really make some creative stuff from these apps. All right, so that's it for pages. All right, next we'll be covering is Keynote. Now, Keynote is the other app made by Apple, which works exactly like um, Pages. Now, I do have a project that I'm doing myself, but it's personal, so I'm not going to use that. You get the same options, you know, as Pages, and uh, I'll just use their demo. Now, if you click and, um, you know, hold your hand over, you can drag them around or whatever. Um, let's say you click this. Now, once you click any text, font, picture, or whatever, you have it says. I mean, you see how it says "build in" and "build out." Build in would be the way it comes in with the text. So let me just pick uh, "bounce." It's gonna bounce in. Do do do. All right, whatever. All right, and let's say um, out. You know, let's say if you like a title, you want your title to come in a certain way, and then you want it to leave another way. If not, just you know, don't add nothing. But spin, it don't matter. Just example. See, so bounce in, then spin off. And you can change the time, like how long do it take to leave, or how fast it came in, or whatever. And that works for everything: any text, any photo, any font, whatever, whatever. So beautiful. And let's say you once you um. Click. I don't know what the icon is called. So once you click that icon, same thing. Like I said, any little thing can be changed. If you click these over here, you can change it. Like okay, anagram. So it's going to switch to the next one. Say with anagram or cube, it'll just flip it. I like anagram a lot, and I like doorway a lot. See, it opens to the next one, and the one I was using for my thing is like a book. I forgot. I think it's called Page Flip. Turns oh no, that's not it. Well anyway, like I said, you can go through and experiment with all of these and it's the same thing. Um how long it takes to change and do you want to do it from left to right? Some of them have up and down too, but you know, this particular one is just from left to right, you know. Let me see. Swipe. Uh, I mean Alright, yeah, see swipe is just from left to right. Now play it. So now it's from that side. Anyway, that's a quick. Oh yeah, now I added that. And I think it spins out, whatever. Yeah. All right. So that was just a brief look at Keynotes, which is a beautifully designed app. Very good Apple. Not for charging us though. All right. Next, we'll be taking a look at is Log Me In. Now with this app you will have to download the client on your computer and then download the app for $30 unless you have installed this and then it's free. Basically what it do it lets you control your computer from your iPad. So two good reasons you can like I said control these are right here just tell you how to use it, you know. Now this is my actual screen on my computer. You know, those are my icons. I have a PC, but I like to set it up like a Mac, so that's why I did that. And um, except for my background, it doesn't load the background for whatever reason, but, you know, this is still my exact desktop. And then you have, you know, little keyboard function, turn the keyboard on and flip it and have the F1 through 12 and the arrows or whatever. And then you have, um, you know, zoom in, some other options or whatever. Anyway, this is my exact, you know, like I said, I'll give you an example. Let me go to my iTunes, which is open on my computer. Now, this is my actual, you know, page on my iTunes. And um, right off the side of my iPad is my computer. So I'm seeing this on my computer and on my iPad. Now, let's say if I was on the moon and I, you know, as long as you got Wi-Fi or whatever, Internet connection, and if I turn on the song here, it will play at home. And like I said, you're moving the screen like this, you know. But if you touch somewhere with the mouse, it puts the mouse over there. Or you can just hold your hand over the mouse and move that around. 
click the top left is left click, top right is right click. Alright, so let's say I click a song. See, if I'm not home, your computer would just start playing, you know. But let me turn it off. Alright. Now, one good reason to have this, like, my brother comes over my house a lot when I'm at work. So, I would, um, you know, he have access to my computer, everything. But if he didn't, I can just, like, you know, click in the information for him. Unlock, you know, folders for him or, you know, get onto the computer. If you didn't trust, you know, certain people, do it for him. You know, or let's say if you have like, like my other brother have a newborn baby and someone wants to see the baby pictures, I don't have it in my iPad or my iPhone or whatever, I can just log on my computer and show them, you know, that way. All right, let's say this folder though. This isn't baby pictures, of course. All right, but this is one of my picture folders on my computer. And like I said, you can move around to move the whole screen. Now, you still have to do the scroll down the wheel or whatever off the side or something. But, um, you know, whatever picture I click here, whatever you do here is happen happens on, on your computer. So, it's a good way to show somebody. Like, I, I was at my other brother's house and um, I needed to bring up some documents that we was working on. And... I didn't, I thought I'd synced it up to my iPhone, I didn't. So I just logged on here, and then we just watched it from my, you know, iPad. You know, read the little whatever from the iPad. Alright, now look, I'm going to show you exactly what you're seeing here, how you'll see it on my computer. Now, that's what you see on my iPad. Same thing you're seeing on my computer, you know. So, yeah. all right. So, like I said, it's a great little app, you know. Certain documents, you know, if you type something up and didn't sync it, didn't transfer it, you can yeah, view it this way. So, you know, it works very well. Like I said, it is slow because you know your wi-fi connection or whatever uh, i guess mine is very slow but like i said i'm not trying to watch videos if me and my brother like just need to look at a picture or or read something that's on my desktop you know we can just bring it up real quick done you know or let's say i want to download something you can even do that you know like damn i've got to like me i download a lot of movies and if i forgot to um download one you know i can go on to the internet you know, go to the website where I go and download movies, download it, and by the time I get home, it's done, you know. Or another thing I do, I have a webcam, you know, and I have it like a security cam where it monitors, you know, any activity in the room. Sometimes I'm rushing out for work and I forget to turn it on. So all I got to do is just, you know, come over here, the little webcam thing, and turn it on, you know. And I'm doing this from, you know, the freeway. I'm on the freeway in traffic. Forgot to turn the webcam on, little spy cam or whatever. Turn it on from here, and you know now, you know I'm being watched. I mean, my room is being watched. All right. So see, there you go, right there. It's telling me someone's in my room because I'm in my room. That's why that popped up. Now I could push that because that popped up over the iPad outside the app. Well, we're at the end of Log Me In and my three reasons to buy an iPad, part one. Stay tuned for part two.